Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look public and private fields. Or if you're learning this after learning another language, you could call them global variables. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll create a new project. We will select Windows Forms application. And we'll go ahead and call it just global variables. Now let's go ahead and add a button to our form by using the toolbox. And we'll just make it a little bit bigger. We'll set the text value to global demo. And we'll go ahead and set the name to button global variable. Okay, so now let's go ahead and right click form1.vb and click view code. You can also just press F7. So here's our form1 class. You can see there are no event handlers yet because we didn't click double click on anything in here to open up the code. We just opened it straight up from form1.vb. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a public field or a private field. So we can go ahead I'll add a comment here. So we will declare a variable that can be used throughout this entire class. So we'll go ahead and type the keyword private. This tells the compiler that we only want this variable to be used in this class. So we'll call it my num as integer and we'll set it equal to 10. Now we'll just create a public one. So we can do this by typing public instead of private. We'll do my public num as integer. And we'll go ahead and set that one equal to 32. Okay, so, so let's go ahead and click on the global demo button to, to create an event for it. And what we're going to do is whenever they click on this, we're going to go ahead and type messagebox.show and we will just type my num. Now you can see that we don't get an er error here because we declare these variables outside of any subs or function inside of our form1 class and we use the private keyword so that only subs and functions inside of form1 can use it and access it. And now if we create another sub, <clears throat> let's just do private sub my sub if we create it and we can set my num equal to 10 or we can set it to a different one and it's going to change my num which is used throughout the whole program so we can just go ahead and call my sub right here and then we can copy this and paste it so what this is going to do is first it's going to access our global variable my num and global just means you can use it throughout the whole class. It's going to access that and it's going to give us 10. And let's go ahead and just convert that to a string. And after we click OK, it's going to call my sub, which sets my num equal to 14. And then it's going to display that uh, new value. And this whole time we're accessing this one variable that can be used throughout our whole class. So now if we go ahead and run this, you can see that if we click on global demo, it pops up a message box that says 10. We click OK and it pops up a message box that says 14. Now let's go ahead and close out of that. Now I'll just talk a little bit about my public num. Now when we use the keyword public, if we create another class, let's say we create like a, uh, a form 2 class or something, we can create an object of form1 and access this variable. Now this may be a little confusing to you, um, but that's fine because we're not going to get into making classes for a while. So um, just keep that in the back of your head and you'll remember that later. Now you can also just use the dim keyword. And what this is going to do is it's going to be private and it's going to let you use it throughout this whole class. So we'll just type my public num equals 23. 
and then we can go ahead and we'll type we'll copy this right here and we'll just go ahead and change this to my public num when really it's private so we'll just change it to private <clears throat> so it's gonna it's gonna display private num and then after this my sub is called it's gonna be equal to 23 so let's go ahead and copy this again and we'll display it after my sub is called so let's go ahead and run this we got global demo and this gives us the value of my num and we click OK this gives us the value of my private num Then we click OK we get the new value of my num which is 14 and then we get the new value of my private num which is equal to 23 so for now I would just suggest you guys use the dim statement or the dim keyword instead of private or public because that will may just confuse you a little bit more but I wanted to throw that in there because it's something you need to know for later on tutorials so um, go ahead get some practice with global variables just use the dim keyword for now and um, it's a very easy concept to understand and once you got that down go ahead and move on to the next tutorial and thanks for watching